today on Be Something Wonderful, Shortcut to Manifesting Your Desired Reality. This is big. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. There was a comment from one of you on that channel today that, that was really referring to the teachings of Abraham Hicks saying that you've been thinking about your desire, bringing your desire to awareness, but getting very specific about it. And as you got more specific, it created resistance. And, you, and it wasn't fun. It wasn't feeling good. So, you would, so as Abraham Hicks suggests, you're going to put the subject down for a while, or you're going to reach for better feeling thoughts. This is the core teaching of Abraham Hicks. And, and it makes sense, right? If, if you're too focused on the specifics, it, it, what happens is, the, the manifestation or your desire starts feeling separate from you. So here's what I want to say. So this is big. The resistance is not caused by, by you thinking about the specifics of your desire, or you imagining the, speci the specifics of your desire. The resistance is caused from the feeling that you're separate from it. Hear this. And, and, and so when you think about the details, you feel even more separate from your desire. It feels outside of you. That's what's going on, right? And this is what happens when we get so focused on the manifestations. And even Abraham Hicks, as she talked about this, says that, you know, you got to put it down for a while, or in other words, move to the state of the, of the good feeling place. What does it feel like to already have your desires, as opposed to focusing on the specifics of the desire? Focus on the feeling state. So that's what I want to unpack today and more. So, and, and, and so when, when you're focused on the outer world, when you're focused on the manifestation, as the, what it feels like when you say this in your comment, it feels like you're, you're more focused on the, the actual thing than the state of being where that thing is already manifested, it's already yours. So, you know, there's this, there's, a, there's the doubters that always say, well, there's no shortcut to success in the world, right? You have, have, a, you have this old cliche that there's no shortcuts, but there is a shortcut. And the shortcut is moving to the state where you already have, the, where you're already successful. Move to the state where you already have your desire. And then let the specifics come. Let, receive the specifics of your desire. Receive the image as opposed to trying to conjure it. And that's what's happening. That's why you feel resistance. It feels separate from you. And you're trying to get more details. You're trying to imagine it. And it's feeling like work. It's feeling like effort. It doesn't feel enjoyable. Instead, move to the state where it's already yours and then allow the details to come to you. And this is what we're talking about. There, this, is, so, this is you thinking about your desire, right? Or you're thinking about success. Or you're thinking about the manifestation. It feels outside of you. It feels... It feels like it's separate from you, right? You're waiting to see it. You're, you're looking for evidence of improvement. It requires willpower. It requires hard work. It requires jumping over obstacles, right? It's something out there, right? So instead of focused on the manifestation, focus on the reality of already having your desire. Focus on the reality that it's already yours. Move to that state, right? Because otherwise we think, we think it takes time and that we have to be, have patience and that we have to persist in it. Right? It's really persisting in the wish already being fulfilled, not, not, not persisting in trying to imagine every little detail, right? because that, again, makes you feel separate from it. So move. What's the shortcut? The shortcut is being the version of yourself that's already experiencing your desired reality. Be the version of yourself that's already in that new house, already experiencing the desire, and then the, the details, the specifics of that house will come to you. You don't have to go looking for them or trying to imagine them. You're going to be receiving them, right? You are a success, right? Embody the new reality. Be the new reality. I am the new reality. I am the new version of myself. I am in that house. That's the difference between being feeling separate of it and focusing on the manifestation. And here, just focusing on the state where the manifestation is already yours, where you're already that, right? This is the inner world focus versus the outer world focus, right? That way, and it's not even about acting as if or pretending because you already are it. It's a direct line to your manifestation, right? I'm not saying that's what you're, that's what you're, you're feeling separate from it, but that, could be a, that does cause resistance when you're feeling, when, when you think of the details. It means that as you think of your desire, because thinking of your desire or thinking even from your desire should never feel like resistance if it's already yours. 
if you feel that, you, that, that, that there is no separation. So the only thing that can cause resistance is the feeling that you're separate from your desire. I just want to hit that. And so what about current 3D reality? What do we do with it? What do we do with what is? Well, resisting to it, reacting to it, feeling negative in, towards it implies you still believe in it. So don't resist it. Don't react to it. Don't feel negative to it. it. That's what it means by accepting what is, right? Don't resist it. It implies that you. It implies that you're agreeing that it's a reality, right? And that's what keeps it in place. You, you have now have constructed a belief or an agreement that it is 3D reality. When you resist it, when you act negative towards, it, when you want to get rid of it, right? It means you're believing in it. We've talked a little bit about this before. You have entered in. So what's happened when you move? To that new reality, when you use that new version of yourself, so you've entered a new film role on an entirely in an entirely new script, right? You're no what you're seeing in the 3D world are just reruns, right? Reruns of of your old life, reruns of your old you. They're no longer relevant, right? You can still look at them and laugh and 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 feel light about it because you know they're reruns. But you're in the new film role. You're in the new script. You're in the new show, right? The key is how you react to the old reality. That would, that's what decides how long you're gonna, you're gonna uh, till the change, till the change is over, till you see it in 3D world, till you see the actual and feel, you're feeling it, but until you see it manifest in 3D reality. It, 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 the old reality, the reruns determines how long it will take until your new reality and the new version of yourself is reflected on the screen of time and space. You're feeling it, it's already manifested in your inner world, it's real. And it's, 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 it's as real as it would be in the, in the 3D world, if not more real. But, but it depends how you react to the old 3D reality. If you resist it, if you reject it, if you get down about it, if you feel resistance to it, then that keeps that 3D reality prominent. And it delays the new version of yourself, that new reality coming in or manifesting or reflecting in, 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 3D, in 3D reality, in the screen of time and space. This is big. So, so I have to keep desiring it or it won't manifest. I've heard this over the last few days. This is a bogus belief. It is the paradox, right? That, that you don't have to keep desiring it. When you keep desiring it, you're saying you don't have it. Desiring is the opposite of having. It's the opposite of fulfillment. It's a fear-based thought. It's a thought of lack. It comes from feeling the absence of your desire. If you feel that you've got to hold on to that desiring and that you've got to keep desiring it or it won't come, because that's what we think, right? That's, that's, that's how, how uh, the old way, right? We think we have to keep holding on to something. We think we have to wrestle it to the ground until it finally manifests. That keeps it away. That's a fear-based thought, right? There is no truth to that, right? You're coming from lack. I have to be patient is a bogus belief. Right? Waiting or patience implies not having it. It's the opposite of having and being it. Right? Patience implies waiting. Waiting implies that you don't have it or, you're not, or you are not it already. Right? So that's also a bogus belief. Waiting takes you out of the now moment where life happens. Life only happens. Manifestations only happen in the now moment. When you're waiting for something, it takes you out of the now moment. Waiting equals the past. It keeps you stuck in your three past 3D reality. Hear this, right? That's what waiting does. Waiting is a belief in linear time, right? We know that everything happens at once, right? Waiting is resistance. It's negative energy. It implies if I wait and I'm patient, I will receive my manifestation and my desire. Hear this. If, I'm wait, if I wait and I'm patient, I will receive it. Think of, think of that, that you're saying that your desire is equal to this, to this negative uh, uh, negative energy or this negative resistance. I want to show this to you, right? Negative cannot equal positive. Resistance cannot equal the feeling of wish fulfilled. But you're saying that X equals waiting and patience. Y equals your desire or wish fulfilled. If I do X, if I wait and I'm patient, then I'll receive or have Y, my desire or wish fulfilled. You're saying that X equals Y. That's impossible. Right, right. It can't come. X can't. Re negative cannot equal positive. Resistance cannot equal wish fulfilled. But that's what you're saying. If I'm patient, if I wait, I will get what I want. But it can't come. 
If I do x, I'll receive y. Why? Because x doesn't equal y. Ne negative can never equal positive. Resistance can never equal feeling of wish fulfilled. Do you hear this? Do you see this, right? Good things come when you least expect it. You hear this a lot, and it's so true, but why is it true? Why? Because wanting is going against your nature, right? It's wanting is the opposite of fulfillment. Wanting is the opposite of receiving. Wanting is the opposite of God. Remember, you are God, right? And so good things come when you least expect it, when, you're, when you drop the wanting, when you drop the desiring, all wanting is based out of fear. All wanting is a negative experience, right? Unless you move to wanting to already having it. Hear this, right? Wanting is the opposite of fulfillment, opposite of receiving. Good things come when you least expect it, when you let go of the wanting and, and you already know it's coming. You've created the inner state. It's done. So hear this. And um, so what do you want to do? Create an opening for God in all that is to manifest your desires. Create an opening here. Right? When you're holding on to something, when you're holding on to the wanting, when you're holding on to the desiring with a death grip, when you're just focused on the manifestation or the thing, and, and, and you're just laser focused on that, you're holding on to it. You're not creating room for the new reality to now manifest in the 3D world. You're not creating room to receive it or allow it in. That's what allowing is. Create space for that greater subconscious to work through you, for God to work through you, create space for that, right? Create an opening, right? It's like in sports, like if you have a receiver and, the, and, the, and there's everybody around that receiver, there's no opening for the quarterback to hit him, to hit him with the, the pass, right? And, that, and who's around that receiver? You're the receiver and you are everybody that's surrounding you. So you gotta create an opening to receive it. Let go of all forms of fear and wanting, needing, striving and holding and, uh, and desiring. All of that keeps you from it. Rest in the fulfillment of it, right? I have already manifested it within. Leave the rest to infinity. Leave the details of the physical manifestation to God. God will take care of the details. You don't have to, right? Just rest in the fulfillment of it, right? So. Make you a world within the only thing that matters, because it is. Because when you create the inner world, the outer world must reflect it. That's all that matters. We look too much in the outer world. We look too much for our evidence of our manifestations, for where they are, when are they coming. I don't see it yet. It's only the inner world. Embody the knowing that there is only one power and you are that power, right? Spirit or love. The power of the law, right? The law is, is that law of the subconscious. That all equals God. That, you've got to make that your base belief. Make that your, your, your premise. That everything works from that premise. Remember, the subconscious works um, deductively. It takes whatever you, whatever you say and then brings it, to, brings it about. Whatever you consciously believe and believe in, if, they, if you believe in that premise, the subconscious has to accept it and go to work on it. It doesn't do inductive reasoning. It doesn't question it. It just brings it to fruition. It brings it to manifestation. So if you come from the pres premise that I am God, that, I, that, that when I desire it, I am that, I create it immediately, then that's your shortcut to manifesting your desired reality. All processes and all props become secondary and even unnecessary when you can move directly to it, when you can take a shortcut to God, to who you are. Hear this, all the props, all the, the cards, the scripting, it all becomes unnecessary because you can, you can take a shortcut. Here, we've talked about this before, but I want to give you this in, in, in four or five points. A shortcut to your new reality. Set your intention. Define your desire. That's always the first step. Right? What do you want? Right? If you don't know what you want, what do you don't want? And then go to the opposite. Right? This is what Hicks and all the teachers talk about, right? The, look at, if, if you can't decide what you want, look at what you don't want and then pick the opposite, right? Once you've done that, move within. Move to that silent place, right? That where the unconditioned you exists. Unconditioned consciousness. Don't condition it. Move to the I am. Not I am that or I am this. Just to I am. Silence. Observation. Where you're just observing thoughts. You're just observing your mind, right? They call this, the spiritual teachers call this the zero point, right? Get to the zero point, that I am, right? Move within, right? It takes a few minutes. It might take 20 minutes, whatever it takes, right? Move within. Don't even time it. 
Just feel, just revel in that feeling of, of, of that unconditioned consciousness, right? Feel that grace, right? Feel that love. And then, step three, allow the image of your new reality to come to you. Receive it. Hear this. You're not struggling. We've talked about this. You're not struggling to, man, to imagine it or visualize it. You're receiving it. Receive the new version of yourself. Receive the details of your house. Receive the details of your desire. Receive whatever it gives you. You've set the intention. You've moved to zero point. Now receive it. Then enter the new you. Enter that reality. Enter the house. Enter that new state with, that you would occupy if your desire was already fulfilled. Express gratitude. Feel the love and the gratitude for already having it. Right? Say thank you. Right? And then step five, dwell in that state of fulfillment. Rest in the fulfillment, right? You're now in the conviction. You're now in the conviction that it's done. Just rest in that fulfillment. There's no more struggle. There's no more striving. There's nothing else to do. It's done. That's, that's really the power, guys. That really is the shortcut to manifesting your desired reality. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. Hit us up on Facebook at Be Something Wonderful, Instagram and Twitter at Tom Karen, our website at TomKaren.com or BeSomethingWonderful.com, or write me at info at BeSomethingWonderful.com to say hello. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, with great love, this is Tom. See you soon.